What's up guys and it's time to talk about the Samsung Galaxy F. It's been a fiery Samsung news week, so much stuff came up regarding the Galaxy S10 and as exciting that is, there is something even more exciting and that is the foldable future. So in this video, we are diving deep with the foldable phone, talk about some other stuff that Samsung showed off at developer conference behind the scenes that most of you don't know. So Galaxy F was indeed shown at the developer conference, but it was hidden inside this big case. Yes, the actual foldable phone from Samsung won't be a thick brick like this. In fact, it's going to be a very decent looking phone and tablet and this stuff might actually show you what the real foldable phone from Samsung could look like when folded and unfolded. All right, first up is the display specification. As the slide shows, we have this uh, folded form and unfolded form. And from the first impression, I can say that the Galaxy F is sort of a mixed hybrid of a tablet with an iPad Pro look and a 4.6 inch compact phone of 2015. First is the folded form. This is what being called as the cover display. It's got a resolution of 840 by 1960 and has a 420 PPI. It's going to be pretty sharp. And then we have the main display, which is the unfolded form. That is the tablet form, which is said to have a 7.3 inch display, but it's pretty wide and has the same PPI as the cover display, which is coming at 420, which is nice. It is twice than their latest tablet, the Galaxy Tab S4, and the resolution is 1536 by 2152. This looks pretty interesting. I personally don't use tablet anymore because they're not as good as a laptop, but this is giving me tablet and phone features all in one device. This slide pretty much puts the difference between your traditional phone and a foldable phone. So you get an immersive and richer experience thanks to a much larger display that a foldable phone will offer compared to your traditional Galaxy phone. The ability to have a tablet with just a fold is pretty cool and you don't have to use the tablet all the time as the folded mode will turn it into a compact pocketable phone. 4.6 inch is easy to handle with one hand and has everything working like calls, messaging. We have pretty much the full one UI running on this folded phone mode. With app continuity, all of your applications will seamlessly switch to a bigger display without any problem. For example, this Maps application. There's something called multi-resume, which will work with multi-window. It will allow the true multitasking. It is a feature that is coming to native Android Q, which is the next version of Android. And with foldable phones, Samsung is introducing true multitasking, where it will have up to three applications running simultaneously. Looking at all this stuff, I honestly think this will be a major thing in the future now that Samsung has shown all the possibilities. Also, a couple of days ago, DJ Ko came back with the interview. He said that users will be able to afford the Samsung Galaxy F or foldable Samsung phones in the future as this is going to be a proper series of phones. Samsung Galaxy foldable phone will get released every year, similar to their Note and S lineup. And since it's the first of its kind, the price is going to be really expensive, around $1,700. According to a report from Yonhap News Agency, the price for foldable phone could be around $1,700, but it's definitely not final. Samsung has yet to decide on it. Soon we'll see foldable phones from LG, Huawei, and Oppo. And with that happening, we can expect to see the price getting declined. They can make affordable versions of foldable phones in the future, uh, provide different size variations which will ultimately make it affordable for an average consumer. This same report also mentioned that 5G is indeed coming to the Samsung Galaxy S10 and it will be unveiled in February at MWC. This is the thing that I love about Samsung is that they keep moving forward. They are bringing innovation. We know that the whole display is coming to the Galaxy S10. We talked about it a lot and also the foldable phone. I honestly can't wait to see this thing getting a proper showcase at CES, which is expected to happen. Next year is definitely packing some Sammy greatness. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you think about the Galaxy foldable phone after all the stuff that Samsung showed off. Are you interested in this kind of device? Are you willing to pay $1,700 for this first generation, first of a kind, phone from Samsung. Let me know and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.